Hello, and welcome to Blue Lightning Healing Meditations. This is a different intro, so please give it a listen. My name is Susie Parker Goins. I'm Blue Lightning Healing. I'm a channel, and that means spirit guide energy comes through me, and I can physicalize it for you. So my voice changes, my posture will change, and you'll be talking to the guide directly. I don't often remember what's going on unless they want me to. You have a conversation with them. You talk to them, ask them questions, get their perspectives, and they will give you tools and techniques to use, learn new concepts to help you move forward in life. That's an energetic form of healing. And I do other energy healing like Reiki, and I can scan your body, help you identify blockages there, identify where the blockages are based from, which could be emotions or even past lives. And that leads so nicely into me telling you I'm a past life healer also. I have this ability to see a map that shows me different blips and I check in on the blips and find out what it is, where it is, when it was, and what the issue is. And it's in relation to lifetimes that are relevant to you right now. Please like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, donate, support me in any way you can so I can continue to produce this content. My links are in the description box. The best way to get a hold of me is through my email at suzypgoins at gmail.com. Thanks very much. Hiya. Gaia wants to come through and talk about Oh, sort of that end of year review for 2020 and what to look forward to or what to think about for 2021. So give me a minute. I'll bring her through and we'll see you on the other side. <sighs> Hello, this is Gaia. So talk about your 2020 talk about quite a year you all had yes but think of it you had such a time to be introspective to look within yourself to pull from those depths of your soul to see how you would handle yourself in this time there's a spectrum of reactions to the year we're not going to go into that part of it right now. So I'm talking to you specifically. Yes, you, my dear. How did you do for 2020? You were isolated, yes? You wore your mask when you needed to? You worked from home when you could? And you spent a lot of time with yourself? Sometimes it's pleasant, sometimes it's not. But did you do any work? Did you do any of that inner work everyone's after you to do? <laughs> yes. Even though you may not feel like it, even though you may feel like you've fallen behind somehow, you did do work. You lived with yourself. And how did that go for you? So... What are you looking for now in 2021? Oh yes, a return to what many people consider normal. But it has changed. It's going to be a new normal for you. Yes, you're going to have to respect. No, it's not have to respect. You respect other people's boundaries, just as you expect them to respect yours. And then those lessons you learned in 2020, you get to apply them here. So it's beyond, oh, I learned how to bake bread. Oh, I learned how to garden. Oh, I learned how to do this. I learned how to do that. I started a blog. This one started a podcast. So many things you did. But out of those inner resources, what did you find? Did you find strength, compassion? For yourself and for others? Are you comfortable sitting with yourself? Some people are. Were you? Because I tell you, you are a beacon of light. You may not believe it now, but trust me. <laughs> I'm Gaia. I know these things. Trust me. You are worthy. You are very worthy of love and attention. And it was brought up to this one that I said something ever so profound recently. 
Divine isn't looking for perfection. It's looking for you. Think about that. We say you're divinely perfect in whatever moment of your life you're in. Whether you believe that or not, you are always you. We don't expect you to be whatever you call perfect. But we do want you to be you. And that means more to us than, than anything. Pull yourself up. And if you need to stay in bed today, that's all right. But if you're able to pull yourself up and get through your day somehow, that's all right too. Look at all the lessons you've learned, all the things you've done in 2020. They're more like signposts, giving you some sort of direction. Everyone's asking for directions. The events that we're going to now, these online things. Tell me, what's my direction for 2021? Well, darling, it's the direction that leads to your ideal self. But what is that? I don't know. Have you decided who your ideal self is? We've done those meditations. Will you talk to your ideal self? Will you set yourself up for, for success? And if that success means putting one dish away, if that success means you're dressing out of the clean laundry basket, if that success is getting out of bed, being able to live another day, or if that success is just being able to draw your next breath, we see that as divine perfection. We see that as you. Please remember, even in your darkest hours, I love you. And as Mother Earth, I see you as a gym. Whether you're rough, tumbled, faceted, still in the ground, you are a jewel. And you are precious to me. I am so grateful that you are taking the time for me today. Because I'll take time for you too. I enjoy you very much. And I love you. I'm happy to sit with you. If you want to set up some sort of blanket for it, I'm there for you, with you. Shoo! I'll bring popcorn. <laughs> So remember that I don't expect perfection, but I would like to have you. So until next time, blessings. <laughs>